For today's five minute makeup tutorial, we're gonna create this quick and easy smoky look. This is part of a series where I created three different looks using all of the same products, but with different placement. All you're gonna need is liner. This can be gel or pencil in any deep shade you want. Next, you're gonna need a shadow that works with the liner. So I picked brown and brown eyeshadow. And finally, you're gonna need a shadow at least one shade lighter and one shade darker. This is gonna be used to contour and highlight your eye shape. This is gonna be super easy and super quick, so let's get started. As with all the looks that you create, you always wanna start off with a good base, especially when you're doing a super smoky eye. So make sure to apply some eyeshadow primer. This is gonna create a barrier for the eye makeup. So make sure you apply an eyeshadow primer of some sort. This is just gonna create a blank canvas for us to work on. And this is also gonna prevent our eyeshadows from going too muddy and too over blended. It gives us a little bit more grip and a little bit more structure. We're gonna start off with a gel liner. This doesn't have to be a thick layer, doesn't have to be a super dense layer. A sheer layer is all you want. And you just wanna apply this from the lash line all the way up covering just the lid area. Now, as you can see, my eyes look a little kind of small, a little black buttony on my face. We don't want that. So one thing that I like to do is look upwards. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look upwards and this is gonna stamp a little bit of the liner and create more shape. And now I can actually just follow this shape, which is my natural eye shape, and just work and fill in this entire area. You just wanna keep this layer nice and sheer. Once you've applied that, you then wanna take your shadow that matches the liner. If you're using black, you can use any deep tone. You don't necessarily have to use black over the top of black liner, deep purple, deep browns, deep greens, anything as long as it's deep. And I'm using a pencil brush to apply this. What you wanna do is you wanna start at the lash line and very slowly start to work your way up. You also wanna be a little quick with this because some of those liners can set quite quickly and then we won't get that nice, soft, smooth blend. Try doing one eye at a time, applying the liner and then the shadow over the top. This is just gonna make sure that one side doesn't have too much time to set. Now don't worry, it's gonna look messy, but we're gonna keep going. I always like to start at the lash line and very slowly start to build this up until we're covering all the gel area. Next, you're gonna use an eyeshadow at least one shade darker than your skin tone. You can also use your contour or a matte bronzer if that works for you. And this is gonna add some more shape to the eyes. So take your favorite blending brush and you wanna keep your hand nice and high and just blend around the edges. What this is gonna do is it's going to remove any of those harsh lines and make sure we have some depth right at the lash line and that's going to dissipate and get nice and sheer and create that smoky look. But it's also gonna make sure that we have some structure into the crease, particularly for hooded eyes. This is a great way to make sure we're blending and smoking this out. Try keeping your eyes open when you're doing this so you can see the shape that you're creating. Now, if you have watery eyes, or maybe this is the sixth eye makeup look that you've done today because all of the other ones, the hard drive got damaged and you lost everything, so you had to start again, but maybe you have a little bit of weeping on the side of your eye. No eye makeup is gonna stick to this area once this starts, unfortunately, but a little thing that I like to do is take mineral foundation, press this over the top, wait until the eyes kind of settle a little bit and then I can go back in with a bit more of that deep shadow and press this over the top of the loose mineral foundation. This is the only way that I can find that fills in that gap. I don't know what my tears are made of but honestly it's the best eye makeup remover in the world. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and sweep underneath the eyes with a mixture of the liner and the shadow. That's just, again, gonna add some more smokiness. And yes, it's gonna look very messy, but that's the thing with smoky eyes. They look very messy until they're done. Don't worry, you can just add a little bit of that bronzy tone that we used in the crease and smudge and blend this underneath the eyes. This is gonna smudge out any of that liner underneath. And I'm also gonna add some more drama by adding the liner to the waterline as well. This is really going to add that smoky effect. And look at the difference that lashes and a little bit of highlighter makes. Once you clean up underneath your eyes, apply a little bit of highlight and apply your lashes, everything is gonna come together. Smoky eyes look very messy and then they look awesome. You just have to not be afraid of them. And when in doubt, do this before you take a shower. So you can just wash it off if it doesn't go right. It does take a little bit of time to get used to doing a smoky eye, particularly because when you're halfway through, you wanna start again, but trust me, just keep going. Now you can change up the different tones and shades and you can create more kind of colorful ones just using the same technique, just changing up the different shades and colors that you're using. And let me know what your favorite combination of eye makeup would be. I'd love hearing from you. I love hearing what works for your eye color and your skin tone. 
But if you're not sure what will work for your eye color and your skin tone, definitely let us know because either I or somebody else will definitely help you out. We're all here to help each other in our makeup chairs. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one.